sit here waiting, waiting, waiting for the AC to go off so high as finally just disconnected it. So here we go. This is the window here. Got two ground rods right here. And then the tape is going to be uh, the strap or close to it. So there's one here. This is 16 foot out, so this is double the length of uh, what the ground rod is. And it's going to come over here. Here's the next ground rod. And then over here is the last one. Right there is the ground coming down for the satellite TV. And then right above it is my power. I come down and hit that right there. So, putting these in with a hammer. I'm dying out here. So that's the arc. Now, as long as it's an arc, it's not, I mean, don't try to take your ground and make it a 90 degree turn, you're okay. So I'm going to come all the way out here, like this. And I have more left. I'll have more strap left, and if I need to, I'll just, maybe I'll come off of here the other way and go out that way. Now, for the antenna, I'm going to use that tree. And all the way over there, you'll see that real tall tree over there. That'll be the other point. And then the drop will be over here by this fence somewhere. I'll bury it, direct burial. The cable will come right over. Right to the window. Okay. Dying out here. It's 87, feels like 92. But the UV index is only about a 3. That's why I'm out here during the day here doing this. Uh, I've got that hole stored. I had a, I got these things down here called pepper trees. They grow like wild. There's an old one here that I cut off. So all its roots are in here. And then I got to be careful chopping because right here, I don't know how far down that goes, but that's, goes over here to the irrigation. I may have to reroute that. Goes over there by the gate to the solenoids for the irrigation. So the lawn's all cut here. I've sectioned it up so let me just lift it up out of the way here. So I've gone all the way around and I'm gonna get ready to uh, flop it all open. I mean it's dug all the way over to here. And then I'll have to uh, hand dig around these, each of the rods, start laying the strap in. Look what I found! Now, this is definitely not my phone, because the phone's all the way around the corner, and there's nothing going up the wall over here. So I'm going to guess this is that lovely installation job of the irrigation where they just uh, pop a piece of PVC in the ground and then they start running cable. Uh, I've checked it. I don't see any damage on it. I mean I checked it pretty good. Maybe some nicks and scrapes and other things but I haven't chopped into it. I did feel some resistance when I was over here and knowing I had stuff like this and other stuff. I didn't go crazy chopping, so I left this area to do by hand. But yeah, lovely. That'd be nice if I chopped that, and then I'm wondering why my sprinklers didn't work anymore. I'm trying to find it. So we popped out. As you can see, this is how I uh, pulling the grass out in chunks. And then I'll be able to lay the copper right down in there. Where's Radio Nut when you need him with his metal detector? Irrigation pipe. Irrigation pipe. That's why I'm digging real gentle over here. I'm right next to all my water set up. So I know what's going on over here. I'm not just cramming the shovel in the ground. So we got it all, all dug out. 
all the way around. I'm gonna take another little break. I'm dying out here. Nice trench going over here. Got the sod. Well, not sod. The weeds slash grass chunks off to the side. Hammer these in the rest of the way and get hooking up. Okay, I got my little tool tote here. I weighed this. 13 pounds. We'll be using inch pound torque wrench. 7 sixteenths hardware. It's uh, stainless hardware. Now if you read their sheet, I'll put a screenshot up of it. But it says uh, rod should be in place. They should be thoroughly clean to remove any oxidation. All connections must be generously coated with a conductive joint compound to prevent uh, moisture penetration. And then it talks about their cleaning kit. And that says tighten bolts evenly to 8 foot pounds or 102 uh, inch pounds. Now, what we'll be using is Scotch Bright on both the rod and the plates. And then we'll be using the copper to copper. And then, you know, I just have my sword stuff. I'm still going to have to put the rods in the rest of the way, but it's a lot easier when you got yourself a little tote and you can carry around what you need. It's not getting lost in the grass. Okay, there's two ground rods here. One's going to stay up high. And I'm going to hook my uh, lightning arrestor to that. And then the other rod's going to be just a little above ground so I know where it is. Uh, I've cleaned everything with Scotch Bright. And you can see the difference here when they said this was stained. And as we go down, you can see it's nice and shiny. I've also done the same to all the inside of the clamps. Are all clean with the uh, Scotch Brite, and then there's about I don't know four foot section here that I'm going to put in the clamp this way up top. So there'll be one piece going sideways and one going up, and this is going to go up towards the uh, window. So I just figured I'd show you the cleaning. Um, wearing gloves, try to keep my sweat and everything off of it while I'm working on it. Don't seem to be holding up too good. Let's go get another pair. And uh, now I'm going to get ready to uh, cover these up with the uh, anti-ox and slap them together. Okay, these clamps, uh, I had to shim them up. The first two and then the other ones I flattened out a little bit because these rods are 5 8 and the clamps are supposed to be 5 8 but I don't know what to deal with. Anyway, tied it in. One ground point. Here's another one. And then the last one, I'm going to leave open, but this guy's not looking too promising right now, so I'm going to try and button some of this up. Okay, I'm starting to run out of light here, but that's all done. Put the grass back. So the one point was about there. The other point was about there, and then I just gotta button this up. But I have a light. So be shaved from this angle. It's not that bad. This part, that part right there was bad to begin with. There you go. Weeds put back. You can see the see the line going down. It'll go right back over. Okay, well it didn't rain and I finished up. So it's all done. The dirt you're seeing on the bottom here. I just hosed this off here. A lot of that was here already, but this should fill right back in again.
There's a strap waiting to go up to the uh, main zone. 73.